What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about episode two of season 25 of Big Brother, and I am definitely excited. Big Brother is one of my favorite competition shows of all time, so let's get right into the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into it. Yeah. Let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out my flame and lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, one and securing the bag. All right, so basically in the entry of, at the start of the episode, you know, Cherie is basically the 17th house because everybody's over here gagging. There's people that know who she is and there's people that don't. Um, and they're just like, oh my God, da, 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 da. but I like the fact that Cherie is very quick on her feet, even her son, you know, they hug each other. It wasn't too much. It just like, okay, uh, mm -mm, and they split, right? I feel like the thing about with Cherie is that she said that she's not going to tell, um, anyone that, you know, that they're related. I feel like that's good because for me, if someone was like, okay, well, you know, this is my dad, you're automatically a target because at the end of the day, you have a number, you have a vote. I don't care if y'all had bad blood. I don't care if he hated your guts. I don't care if he put you up for adoption. That's none of my business. At the end of the day, you have a number. Y'all might try to rekindle something. I don't know. I'm assuming. So you're going to be my target. So her best bet and Jerry's best bet is to not bring it up. Cherie is a master of getting people on her side, getting people to trust her, and doing what she got to do to win that money. I'm not mad at it at all, right? So it was funny because in the midst of the whole chaos, Izzy pulls Jared aside and Izzy's like, look, I ain't gonna hold you. You're Jared Fields. You're Shree's son. <laughs> so he's just like, come here so they over here talking he's just like look you, you know what, what's going on woo, 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 woo. and she's like look i'm not gonna tell nobody it's cool we, I, your secret's safe for me she's like i know you're her son and her like confessional she's just like look i i follow sheree i am fans of sheree i know that's her son um, she has a perceptiveness about her and not running her mouth i feel like if you know something secretive and just keep it on the low don't do too much because my whole thing is Having one person after you is fine, but having two and then two people that seem like they can manipulate and gather people around them, she might as well just keep that to herself and don't even bring it up, right? So we then hop over. We see that, you know, Riley and Jag, they hit it off very well. They're over here, you know, they're cool, they're chilling. On the live feeds, we also see she really wanna work with Jag and, you know, oh, we're gonna be final two so they make a final two i saw that in live feeds. i was just like okay we'll see how that goes my whole perception of riley so far is that she gives me a little bit ditzy and she gives me very easily persuaded so we'll see how it goes further on so sharice she's in the pantry you know minding her business with i think she has a glass of wine that would be me pour me the drinks yeah because i made it to the big brother house right so jerry walks in and he's like ma Izzy right behind him she's like hold on what you do ma what you doing <clears throat> so she's over here gagging like what what were what you doing so he's like she know she's like is it you good you good mentally you good no you're not you're not baby and it's okay <clears throat> we didn't do something so she's trying to basically like round her up like like what's going on you good like like come, come on like keep the secret so izzy basically let her know like you know we're gonna keep the secret like you know and like izzy's whole reasoning behind it was spot on I have leverage. I can work with them. Two of, literally, Cherie's like one of like the best players in almost reality TV. Like she's a legend, right? Um, she just won the Traders, and for me, I feel like the Traders was already a hard show to win. So for her to win that, go ahead, Cherie, congrats. But for Izzy not to be running her mouth, I feel like that's a good skill to have, and you could also use it as leverage. Like, look, we cool, we here. I had your back. I didn't let nobody know nothing. Boom, right? Um, everybody's sitting around doing like the little fake entries, like, oh my god, hi, my name is my name is blah blah blah. I'm from blah 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 and I don't do this job, I really do the job I don't, right? So um there's a little few things in that whole situation that um I found interesting, right? Um, well, first of all, Corey finally comes back from another round. Corey comes back and he's just like, yeah, you know, here's the here's a note. Basically, I was there for a short period of time, but next week and weeks going forward, y'all probably be there for longer. <laughs> FYI. Right. So basically, everybody's basically um, standing up, introducing themselves. So Miko, short Mimi, um, she did not tell people her profession, which is smart. And Matt, 
He's like, yeah, you know, Riley's my type of girl. I'm really into her, so let's really see where that goes. Send him home. I don't got time for showmances. I don't got time for people that want to just come here, find some love. If you don't get that money, because why come do all this, get sequestered, do the audition, fly you out, do all this, you know, keeping secret, recording, just to get on the show, just to try to find love instead of trying to find this money. I don't, that's one thing about me is like, I don't like that. I, 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 I would be the player that goes out to couples because I'm just like, your head is not even in the game. I get that y'all want to have, show me, cool, whatever. But I'm like, I need some money. But you know what I mean? Um, but basically Matt tells everyone that he's a deaf um, Olympic world record holder. And I'm just like, I feel like for me, my sensors would just start popping off. I was like, mm. not only is he athletic, He's not so bright, cause why would you tell anybody that? I would have just said, yeah, you know, I'm a surfer. He looks like it. I would believe it. That would have went up right on my head. I'm like, yeah, I can see it. Right. Um. So his um, he tells everyone that he's a nurse assistant, but we all know that he is a physician. So you know, he fibbed a little bit, and he said that you know he um does burlesque um at nighttime. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Kristen tells people that she has a swimsuit brand, and that's what she does. The girl is a microbiologist. The girl's smart. <coughs> smart. Because if she would have told people that, it would give them another reason. Right? So, right now, standing right now, Corey, Izzy, um, Sari, Mimi, and Jared, they're definitely piquing my interest um, of who I feel like is really moving forward in the, the to lead the pack of people that's playing smart. Um, A little bit of Jag, too. But I feel like he's just going to play the background, which is... I used to think playing the background was like a floater, but sometimes you need to play the background because you have too much attention on you. You can make it to like the to the jury halfway part. I just don't see you winning because you play that aggressive from start to finish. That is a uphill battle that I don't see that many people wanting to play. I would not want to play that uphill battle going like this all the time. That is hard. So for him to play background, okay, I respect it. Um, have not so. We all know the have not room is the room that nobody wants to go into. First of all, I have a dietary restriction. So if I ever went to the Big Brother house and they're like, oh, Ryan, you're a have not. You got to eat. No, I got a dietary restriction. I'm going to have to eat nothing. If it's not on this list, I'm not eating it. I'm a texture person. I can't. I'm sorry. Everybody got to go into the room and they find out to leave the room, you got to basically get kicked in the ass. Yeah. Um. So we see Cherie and Jared, they're having like their one-on-one -on -one and she's giving him some advice because she's like, yeah, you know, I heard you talking to Kirsten about, oh yeah, you know, we're going to talk later. She said, if I can overhear you, don't you think other people overhear you? She's like, that's just a little bit of advice. No, don't be too obvious with your movements because that's going to pique people's interest because I know a nosy bitch like me, I'm going to be like, talk to her later about what? What y'all talking about? Are you interested? You're trying to do showmans? Are you trying to, you know, move forward? what's going on? I, that's why I, that, that would be me, right? So we see this um, Felix Five, or uh, I guess, but um, Riley, Luke, Mark, Kristen, and Jerry are all like, you know, talking about, you know, working out, but they all get roped into this alliance that's really not an alliance, but I guess. So Jared, he doesn't trust Kirsten and he basically feels like Kirsten has been going around and trying to get into a lot of these alliances and stuff. For my perspective, I thought Jared was, I thought um, Luke was the one that started, um, brought the name up. So I'm just kind of confused on how is Kirsten, and mind you, I only heard her being in one alliance. So I feel like they spun this story around, which is smart, don't get me wrong, because it's an easy target to get the target off your back. I'm not mad. But they spun this story around and got this target on Kirsten. That easy, that simple, right? So he tells Sheree, like, look, at the end of the day, Ma, like, she not to be trusted. Now, Sheree was already on the fence with Kirsten because Kirsten, they said that she's doing a little bit too much, a little bit too much talking, a little bit too much strategizing. And, like, she's in the middle. She's teetering, like, you know, I'm not really feeling it. So basically, Kirsten has a big target on her back now. Um, like I said before, um, I thought Luke was the one that brought up the whole Felix Five, but hey, whatever. It's a HOH competition, and Jared, Felicia, um, Corey, and Kirsten cannot play because they all lost their um, 
their first on competition so they are nominated right so this week's hoh superpower is to remove two players off of the block and then you know basically the two that are left will be the noms for the week and then get to play for power veto so the whole hoh competition is very simple it's it's a balance beam run across the balance beam it's three routes simple for me if i would be like okay the first hoh competition cool i don't want to win that would be my first thing. It's like, could I could I run across that simple and easy? Hell yeah. Am I going to win the first competition? No, because what's the point? There's already four people going to be the target. Somebody's going to be the target. Somebody's going to be already. It's already built in. Especially if I'm not on the block. There's no reason for me to win. Just putting a bigger target on my back later on. Because... Anything could happen where somebody said, oh, well, you know, this person was HOAs, that's why, or they put me on the block, I gotta get my lit back. Oh, no, I don't need that right now. So, you know, everybody started going, you know, blue she goes, she set her little record, but it wasn't nothing too crazy. Um, everybody's thinking the same way I'm thinking, they don't wanna win. But there's a few, like Heisem and Riley. Heisem, he showed out, he ran across that, he was just like, boop, 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 boop. And he just made, for me, that if I was sitting back, he made me realize that, okay, all these other people was pump faking and they really weren't trying to win this competition. That's what I would think. I'm just like, okay, they really didn't want to win. They were just playing because the way he ran across that and then the way that Riley ran across that, you could tell they were playing because 59 minutes to get, ac get across from point A to point B, literally it should have took them at least 30 seconds. But who, what do I know? I'm not playing the game. But, you know, Riley, she's like, look, I'm going to win this um, video, um this HOH. Riley actually wins the HOH. I feel like it's a dumb move. I feel like, I mean, somebody had to win, but I don't think it was a good move for her to win right now. But, hey. So, you know, all the noms are basically going in, talking to Riley about, like, you know, hey, you know, what's the moves? And Riley's like, well, you know, I don't really know. And so, Felicia's like, well, you know, I'm not the one to cause, cause drama and spread rumors. But Kirsten was over. <laughs> but basically, she tells like you know that Kirsten has been going around spreading all these like doing a lot of um, campaigning and a lot of talking, and her social game has been a little bit reckless. Um, Cerise said the same thing. Um, Jared said the same thing. So now in Riley's head, she's over here. For me, I feel like she's easily manipulated. One, two, she didn't even get the chance to go talk to Kirsten, and or Kirsten. She didn't even go talk to Riley. And if they did, I didn't see that on the live feeds. But I felt like a conversation should have been had so that when Kirsten went to that eight, went to the nomination ceremony, she wouldn't be so surprised. Because the girl's over here crying. And all I could think is like, girl, welcome to Big Brother. Because this is gonna happen night, day in and day out for you. For, so for you to be crying week one <coughs> off nominations when you can play for a power of veto. At some point, you're gonna have to really come out your bag. And for me, we need to stop being naive. Like, oh my God, I can't believe they put me on the block. Well, somebody was gonna go on the block. It was between four of y'all. You really didn't have that much conversation with Riley. So, I mean, that would've been easy. I'm like, well, you know, we didn't have that much conversation. Everybody else has made an effort to come talking to me. You haven't really came talk to me that much. So it was just the easiest choice. Hopefully in the future, we can have more conversation. You can save yourself off the block and we can figure something out moving forward. Right, so um, it comes to the HOH ceremony because basically we're trying to figure out who is gonna get taken off. So Riley actually took off um, Jared and Corey. So now Kirsten and Felicia are on the block. They're the noms for the week. The problem with this for me is the fact that a lot of women throughout the history of Big Brother, a female alliance has never dominated Big Brother. They have always imploded, or there's always been some type of drama. Um, so to see, um, I'm, it hasn't been shown on the, the show, but the women in the live feeds, they come up with this alliance called the Bye Bye Bitches. So hopefully they can figure out something. Um, I would love to see a all-female alliance dominate, especially with the, the presence of Sharice in there. I feel like she could definitely rally the troops together. But for me, Sharice is, she gives me, I'm gonna stab you in the back because I gotta win and I respect it. But with Riley, girl, good luck because I think that Felicia is the type of person to hold grudges. 
So we'll see what happens, y'all. And it'll be easy. And Riley don't realize it will be easy in the future to put you on the block. If Felicia wins or Kirsten, if whoever stays, they can be like, well, you nominated me, so I'm returning the favor. It's easy. <laughs> but y'all, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.